Tech. This is Sikkinit. Good morning. I want to do a really quick video on my experience in the keto community as an Inuit woman. So Inuit, probably uh, more familiar with Eskimo, don't really like that term, um, but I'm from Alaska. My people, we um, refer to ourselves as Inupiaq, but Inuit span from Alaska, Canada, Russia, Greenland. Uh, we are a thriving community, very much alive. And what I have noticed in the keto, also paleo um, world, is that they're always referenced as if we are past tense. The Inuit had thrived on this. The Inuit um, show us that there is a possibility, and it's, it's just always in a past tense form, very insignificant in the books. It's just to kind of back up their own agendas. Um, and I think that Inuit deserve a lot more credit uh, because the Western diet, as I under I understand, the Western diet has come into all of those communities um, and made an impact, right? Depending on the significance of the impact is kind of where you live in those cities. But we live a very traditional way. And I'm not talking about my ancestors. I'm talking about my mom. Like, I'm talking about my grandma who didn't speak English. I'm talking about my great grandma who probably only had flour, salt, and pepper ever in her, like diet other than our traditional diet. Right now I have whale, seal, um, I wish I had some caribou, <laughs> but a lot of whale meat in my free uh, deep freezer. I have some seal meat in my little freezer in here. That's my snack and seal oil, which is life. And I incorporate that um, before I went into a ketogenic diet, but now it uh, has been a huge factor for kind of getting my taste buds back into that traditional lifestyle because I'm really the first generation to not eat, um, not not just significant, but really most of my food coming from traditional uh, diet needs. So I, and also with the paleo, a lot of people are like, oh, our ancient ancestors ate this way and they were berry pickers and, and primal, you know, and it, bugs me because we still live this way of I love berry picking like and it's not berry picking just because it's fun that's the way we have our berries I actually thought I hated blueberries for up until this summer because I had never gone berry picking um for blueberries I had wild blueberries and I was like man these are delicious like I love and I was really hesitant to have them because I know I don't like blueberries and I realize that the store-bought ones are disgusting and not the same as wild blueberries. So that's still happening right now. And I just wish that people would reference um, most rural Alaska is going to have our trucks and our lights and our houses and all of these modern commodities because we are still in the 21st century. We are still here paying taxes, being citizens, right? But we also are going hunting for moose and seal and whale regularly. We are still practicing um, traditional, you know, ways. And when we, it's kind of like Geico, right? And <laughs> when they have those damn commercials about cavemen and they pass this, like that's kind of how I feel when I read a book and they talk about Primal Burner and all of these references to our ancient ancestors, like maybe your ancient ancestors, if you're white, I guess, but like, we're still here. You can actually just reference us like, Hey, we did it right. What's up? <laughs> you know, give credit where due my mom, um, and our people and the people in Greenland and Canada and Russia, like we have been doing this diet and it has been very healthy. Um, and a lot of people kind of took this idea put it in a new bow and marketed it out there as if this is a new fad, as if this isn't something that is practiced by a significant portion of, of not just the United States population, but really like the um, developed countries population. Uh, and along with that, of course, our other Inuit, our um, indigenous populations that practice their own traditional diets that people seem to ignore as if we kind of just didn't, we don't exist. Um, I'd like to be existing in the minds of the keto community and um, that's where I am today. I do appreciate all the information and I don't think that anyone has any um, bad intentions, but watching like the uh, Jillian Michaels video 
was upsetting because she completely attacked. Um, and I get what she's saying, the Western ketosis diet, but really a low carb, high fat diet. And she doesn't understand that we actually do this because of our traditional ecological knowledge, knowing this is the healthiest way for us. And really now people are realizing the healthiest way for tons of non-Inuit people, right? So I find that really offensive, but it's also not uncommon that people that are not from um, indigenous ties, although she's Lebanese or comes from Lebanese descent, I think she's very much in that um, celebrity, not really indigenous tied world. And she um, makes assumptions and really condescending um, and offensive statements. So thank you for watching this video, Koina Fuck. Thank you and see you later.